Here are three ways to record video on your webcam in Windows 10, ranked from worst to best. At number three, we have the built-in camera app. This is an audio video sample recorded with the built-in camera app in Windows 10. To start it, just hit the Windows key, type camera and press enter. To configure it, just hit the gear icon on the left-hand side, and you can see that there is a small number of options here in the Windows Camera app. To start your recording, first switch from the photo mode to the video mode by tapping the video camera on the right-hand side. And to start recording, just hit the video button one more time. Now, the Camera app is recording your video. To stop the recording, just hit the same button one more time. Now your video file has been saved into your photos folder on your computer. You can see it down here at the bottom right. This is the video file. And if I click on see all photos, I can find my file in this folder. The one advantage of using the built-in camera app is that you already have it. The disadvantages are that there are no settings in the camera app. For example, you cannot control the quality or any noise suppression. But if all you need is to make a super quick video and you literally have no other software, the camera app will do the job. Number two is using Zoom video conferencing. This is an audio video sample recorded with Zoom video conferencing. And this is a local recording onto my computer. Start the Zoom application, start a new meeting, make sure to join the meeting with your computer audio go to full screen in Zoom, activate your camera, and now you have the opportunity to record your webcam with the Zoom video conferencing app. Make sure that a couple of settings are correct. Go to your microphone settings right here and make sure that you have selected the right microphone. Same thing with the video settings right here. Make sure that the right webcam has been selected. To start recording, go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and tap on one of the recording options. You can choose between a local recording, which is saved to your computer or a cloud recording, which is saved to the Zoom cloud. I always recommend using the local recording. It is easier to have immediate access to it. And usually it will also give you higher quality. This is an audio video sample recorded with Zoom video conferencing into the Zoom cloud. In this clip, I have activated the automatic noise suppression in Zoom. To stop the recording, go back to the bottom right hand corner and then click on stop recording. Recording stopped. You will get the prompt that the recording has been stopped. You can also stop recording by ending the meeting. The benefits of using Zoom to record video is that you probably already have it installed and you're familiar with how it works. Another great benefit of Zoom is the noise suppression that is built into the program. Make sure that it is active. Go into your audio settings right here on the bottom left hand side and then go to the section that talks about suppression of background noise. You've seen that mine is currently on automatic. The main drawback of recording with Zoom is the low video quality and the fact that you cannot reliably adjust the quality settings. A couple of years ago, I was able to reliably get 1080p video, which is full HD video from my Zoom recordings, but these days it doesn't work. There are some instructions on the Zoom website that you can follow to try to increase the video quality. I have a link to them in the video description below. There are two settings here inside of Zoom that you should be aware of if you're going to be recording video. Go to the video settings down here in the bottom left hand corner and make sure that you have selected HD in this area right here. Also go into the recording options here and make sure to highlight this box here, optimize for third party video editors. Ultimately, I cannot recommend Zoom as a great tool for recording video, mostly because of the inconsistent video quality. And that's a problem that we're gonna sort out with our number one pick. But before that, I will also include an honorable mention and that is to use web-based live streaming software. StreamYard is the most popular one, and the one that I have used in the past is called Melon.
I have a link to it in the video description below. And if you want to start streaming with it, you can get started with the free version. But if you want to record your own video, you do need to upgrade to the pro version. Now, I would not recommend buying a tool like this just for recording your webcam. But if you're already using it to create live streams, then go ahead and try the video recording feature as well and see what you think of the quality. The best way to record your webcam is to use OBS Studio. It is a free and open source video production studio. You can download it with a link in the video description below or simply go to obsproject.com. This is an audio video sample recorded with OBS Studio. When you first install OBS Studio, it will look a little bit intimidating like this, but it is very easy to set up. I'm going to go into the sources section here in the middle part of the window and click on plus. And then I'm going to add a video capture device. That is the terminology that OBS Studio uses for webcams. The name of my webcam is the Canon M50. So I'm going to type that there and hit enter. In this window, there is a drop down at the top that lists all the webcams that I have installed in my system. The EOS webcam utility has already been selected. All I have to do here is click OK. Now my webcam has been added. I'm going to type Control F to make it full screen. The last thing I want to do here is to lock the webcam so that I don't accidentally move it around. The next step is to set up audio. I'm going to go into the settings here on the right hand side, and then I'm going to scroll down to the audio section. And here I have all the different microphones that are available to use within OBS Studio. I only need to have one microphone, so I'm going to click on this menu here and select the Samsung Q2U that I use as my microphone and then click OK down here. Now, as I speak, you can see that the audio level is correctly being picked up here inside of OBS Studio. Before we start recording, there is one setting that we should configure first. I'm going to go back into the settings on the bottom right hand corner and go to the output section. The top part of this window is for live streaming, but we are interested in the recording settings. So just make sure that you know where your video files are going to be saved. And if you want to change that location, click on browse here. Here, you can also select different image qualities for your video files. When you're happy with your choices, just hit OK. When you're ready to start recording, just hit the start recording button right here. And you can see that there is a recording indicator here in the bottom status bar. When you're done recording, just hit stop recording and your video file will be saved to that location that you specified in the settings. Here's a power tip to improve your audio in case you're dealing with background noise. Click the gear icon next to your microphone, click on filters and then on the plus button down here and add a noise suppression filter. Just click OK there. And this noise suppression filter RN noise is actually really good. So just hit OK there, and now it will eliminate all those unwanted background noises that you may have on your recording. With OBS Studio, you can do so much more than just record your webcam. For example, you can share slides like this with OBS Studio. To learn how, click or tap the screen right here. And even this animation where the card flew in from the bottom, this is also done in OBS Studio. Thank you for watching. My name is Marcus Seppala. And I will see you in the next video.